Christmas. So sorry I missed yesterday. I was quite poorly. Um, I just wasn't able to make it happen. Like literally lying in bed when I came home from work from pain. But I'm back. I'm here today. Let's talk about spooky Christmas reads. You know I love a spooky Christmas, you guys. So let's talk about books. I'm not so much into your classical rom-com, smoochy hallmarkish kind of Christmas reads. Your girl is a Christmas horror fan. Love it. Bring it on. So I'm going to share with you a few books that I've been wanting to read over the past few Christmas seasons. Didn't get around to them. Hopefully that will change. It's only the fourth, so I, I still have a shot. Of these five books, Krampus the Yule Lord by Brom has definitely been on the list for far, far, far too long. But, oh, you guys can't see. That is the progress that I've made in the past, but I want to start from the absolute beginning and give this one a go. I'm not going to read you guys the long blurb, but the short blurb is... Santa Claus, my dear old friend, you're a thief, a traitor, a slanderer, a murderer, a liar, but worst of all, you're a mockery of everything for which I stood. You have sung your last ho, 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 for I'm coming for your head, I'm coming to take back what is mine, to take back Yuletide. Yeah, so I think reviews are kind of mixed, or mixed to like, not good, <laughs> but I want to see for myself. I am not a trend follower. The hype train it doesn't really work very well for me usually. So hopefully I can make this one happen. It's how many pages is this? There's illustrations, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just saw another cool one. That. Oh, this dude. <laughs> 351 pages. Next up, another book that's been on the TBR for far too many Christmas slash winter seasons. Airy Christmas by Ben Thomas and D. Kershaw. What horrors lie in wait on this special night, what macabre monstrosities might manifest, what evil lurks in every rooftop display. Oh, love this dude. It's so cool. Little skull right there, you guys. So this is a collection of short stories. Short stories are hair miss with me. I usually have a hard time because if I love it, I need more, I want more, give me more. But maybe with it being short stories and kind of a larger font. Oh, check out the pages, by the way. Super cool. Yeah, so this might not be that bad. I should really, really, really give this a go. Actually made it to 69 pages with this one, so another one I'll probably start from the beginning and try to work my way through. Next up, The Visitor by Sergio Gomez, little novella that I've actually gotten maybe like halfway through and didn't finish. Shameful, you guys, just shameful. So this one, The Visitor, on Christmas during one of the worst snowstorms Indiana's ever seen, five strangers are forced to take shelter inside of a roadside diner. As the night progresses, the snowfall shows no signs of relenting. Ice begins to build up in the roads and the temperature seems to be dropping by the hour, but the worst has nothing to do with the weather and everything to do with the sixth visitor coming to the diner. The jolliest time of year quickly turns bloody as the diners find themselves fighting for their lives. This Christmas won't be just white, it'll be red too. Have to, seriously have to. Next up, a short story collection I picked up at Barnes last year, Christmas Gothic short stories. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this goodness? A little skeleton with the Santa hat? The gothicness of it all? Very excited about this one. Um, I've actually started the first story and I love it. I just have been trying to read it too late at night and I fall asleep. But let's see, the gothic and fantasy collection. There's nothing quite like delving into ghost stories at Christmas with chilling tales to be shared during long winter nights. Showcasing exciting new voices and new stories to celebrate the supernatural side of festive season, this new collection is an essential gathering of the macabre and all things uncanny. Only thing about this one, you guys, is that this itty bitty font and big ass pages. That's the only thing that makes me hesitant and it's a chunk or two. Uh, I know it's over, let's see, like 418 pages. A very very small font that's a horror story <laughs> in of itself 
but I'm gonna try to like pick little stories from here and there. I don't know if I'll get the whole thing right. I'm hoping to at least make a little tiny dent this year. And last, Christmas and other horrors. I was so kindly gifted this by a dear friend on Instagram. Super, super excited. Um, I think there's a small group of us that might actually buddy read this. I am very much looking forward to it. Let me tell you guys a little bit, a little tiny blurb. The winter solstice is celebrated as a time of joy around the world. Yet the long nights also conjure a darker tradition of ghouls, hauntings, and visitations. This anthology of all new stories invites you to huddle around the fire and revel in the unholy, the dangerous, the horrific aspects of a time when family and friends come together for better and for worse. Excited! 435 pages, short story collection, a few authors that I'm kind of fond of. We shall see if I'm able to make this one happen this season. We've got five spooky books, one spooky season. What's gonna make it and what's gonna be worth it? You guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna update you as I work my way through these. Fingers crossed. If you love Christmas horror books or movies, please leave me some suggestions below. Love to talk all things spooky. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas. Mm -hmm.